this video we're going to look at uh, the flight fine pitch step. So let's assume we have a propeller and it's at a particular blade angle and at that blade angle it's rotating at a particular RPM. Uh, the airflow due over the blade due to the RPM is equal to omega r. The aircraft will have a forward velocity, uh, velocity aircraft, so what actually coming through the propeller will be the aircraft plus some inflow factor. You know, the air, the air sort of speeds up as it's coming through the propeller. And combination of both of these will give me the relative airflow. And the angle between the relative airflow and the cord line is the angle of attack. And it's positive in this instance, and that's going to give me positive thrust. So the aircraft is going to, to move along. Now let's assume it's coming into um, an airfield and it's making an approach. Uh, in the approach configuration, the pilot will have reduced the propeller pitch. It'll bring it back to some fine position. And let's just assume that at the fine position, you know, the aircraft velocity has decreased and the aircraft RPM has increased somewhat. And my relative airflow is now uh, this vector. And we can see immediately that the angle of attack has moved from a positive blade angle, sorry, positive angle of attack, to a negative angle of attack. And the negative angle of attack will give me negative thrust. And that's not a good thing to happen. In fact, it's uh, something we really want to avoid, particularly on a critical phase of flight. Uh, negative angle of attack uh, would create negative thrust, and you know we could potentially stall the aircraft. So what we want to do is to have some blade angle so that the angle of attack is always positive. So we want to make sure that this propeller blade never goes back beyond some point at which we were going to get a negative angle of attack, right? And we we achieve that by using a flight fine pitch stop. So we're going to keep the propeller at some angle out here, and it will never go beyond that angle in flight, and therefore we shouldn't get a negative angle of attack. And how do we do it? Well, we used flight fine pitch stops. So in normal flight, the pilot has selected you know, a blade angle, and Propeller takes up that blade angle and we, we fly along. Now let's assume he wants to reduce the pitch. So the pilot you know moves condition lever and oil pressure acting on this single acting piston moves this piston back to the flight fine position. It cannot go any further than that because I have the flight fine pitch stops engage. And just for teaching purposes, uh, if we can just assume that these are some sort of a, a latch or a stop that's actuated in this case by, by oil pressure. So we, we pump some oil in at a, at a high pressure and left it in there and it's, it's blocked off by a solenoid. So the piston here can't go any further in this position. And that's fine. So within the air the piston can move from this position all the way up to feather. Right, so this is what the pilot has to play with in flight. So I can move, there's his flight fine now. So we move back to flight fine, so the pilot can move from there right up to the feather position. Okay, so what happens uh, when we get on the ground and we want to go back to the ground fine or into the ground range, maybe even do reverse pitch? Well, uh, what happens is, when we land, the solenoid here is activated by the weight on wheel switch or the squat switch. So, what can happen is, if we just open up that solenoid, we lose all the oil pressure. And let's say that we have some sort of a spring, I haven't drawn it here, uh, but let's say some sort of a spring here that's going to pull, pull these flight fine pitch stops back. When that happens, they withdraw, and the piston is now free to move right back to any position. So just for this case, let's say the pilot now selects ground fine, the propeller moves to ground fine, and the piston is in the ground fine position. And that's basically the flight fine pitch stop. I hope that helps.